Good morning everybody and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So let's just start off with the daily and uh, you can see we ended up with a range bar uh, yesterday. Uh, lots of political noise around the stimulus packet, package uh, on both sides of the camp. So yeah, it's uh, politicians in control of everything at the moment. I do think that this level is going to hold if you look at this 3434. Um, it's definitely looking like it's going to hold. If it does pop below, then 3400 is going to be the area to watch. So 3405 to be exact. But um, you can see this is a bit of a triangle forming, and we'll look at that on the lower time frames. Okay, you can see uh, bottom trend line is here. Okay, and top trend line is there. Okay, so this is the trend line I'm watching. Okay, I'm not taking it onto this high or that high. It's the first two, actually the first three um, touches of that trend line, which is what I'm looking at. Okay, so with that picture in view, uh, if you have a look at what happened yesterday, big up, big down, big up, big down, big confusion, and it just got, yeah, the candle just got bigger and bigger. So sort of a... Um, a megaphone formation that was forming. Now, what we're looking for is for a level to be regained, and the level that we need to be regained at this stage is 34.69, or let's just say 34.70. Okay, so let's just look at what the strategy is for today. So yesterday was a nothing day, to be honest. Um, you probably had a scalp or two from the upside and then going into the close we basically sold off all the way down we've gapped up now this morning because now all of a sudden there's more positive news so you can see we had positive news here there was a tweet by good old nancy and then something happened going into the close and then there's more noise from good old nancy and that's what's happening anyway um i think you know we're probably going to be doing this um the sideways shuffle for the next two weeks uh, and it's going to be different variations of it it's going to be smaller ranges like this or it's going to be larger ranges but the volatility is definitely going to be here for the next two weeks so it is an opportunity um, but as i said yesterday you're looking for scalps now don't try and look for long-term trades okay so um for the up move to the upside definitely looking for 3470 to give away and then I want to see support there before looking to get back in on the longs. Otherwise, we're looking for longs off the lower levels. So it's going to be back here of um, 34, 33. Or if we pop below that, then we're looking at 34.05. Okay. But I think um, there's a lot of support down here. And you can see how most of yesterday, buyers were scaling in. Uh, this little rejection here. Not sure what that was about, but um, more than likely just uh, news. Okay, so we have left the gap. That's the concerning thing. We've uh, pretty much, every time we've gapped up, we've come back to close it. Although yesterday's gap, oh, it did close, sorry, there it is there. So yesterday's gap closed as well. We've gapped up again today. And uh, let's see if we can hold this moving average. So you can see that's pretty much what we're looking for. And you can see how it progressed through the day. Um, as soon as we started coming into, what time was that? That's, that's about an hour and a half, um, no, two and a half hours before the market opened, the US market opened, look how the volatility picked up. Okay, that's kind of the same thing. So you're probably going to find a, a reasonably gentle trade in the European session, get out of it, and then you're going to get this volatility again. Unless there's some real positive news on the stimulus package. This is all that this is about at the moment. Um, if we look at some of the results that have been coming through, uh, results haven't been... I mean, they have been... Uh, uh, revenue's been down across the board uh, for a lot of organizations. But the reality is, you know, based on where we find ourselves, that's not too bad. So the forecasts have all been pretty solid. Um, the earnings per shares has also been pretty solid. So, and I think we, we don't really have any big ones today. Let me just double check that. Uh, oh, we've got Tesla today. So we've got Tesla and we have Nestle um, and Verizon. 
Verizon, sorry, and a couple of um, pharmaceuticals coming through today as well. Okay, so, so we have a few big ones, um, quite a bit of, uh, quite a few results to worry about today. Uh, but yesterday, overall, uh, there's more green than red coming through yesterday, and um, the only some big ones that were missed. But that was out of out of uh, the UK. But the rest of them, you know, if it was a miss, it was ever so slightly. It wasn't uh, massive, um, except for Netflix. Netflix did miss um, their earnings. The revenue was up, but uh, they earned they missed their earnings yesterday pretty well. Okay, so enough rambling here. What is a plan of action? Uh, plan of action is quite simple. Get this top trend line drawn in. Uh, because that is critical. You're going to need to break through this critic, this um, trend line, which basically means this swing high here needs to go. So what I would like to do is just put that in there. So there's the two levels to the upside that need to go. Okay. So in order for us to start concentrating on longs, 34.69 and um, 34.78, your target area is going to be short-lived. I'm afraid you're probably going to be getting something like that. Uh, which is 34.89 before moving back down. So you're going to have to, what you're going to be wanting to do is buying off these different structure levels. Now, there is a level that I'm putting in right in the middle here of this triangle. You can see there's a previous swing highs there, and you can see how we've just got above that. So that level, if that level holds, then you have a stab at this area here, 89 points. Then you have another stab up there, 164 points. Um, alternatively, you're looking at the bottom of the range here. Okay, so I'm not looking to get long up here. I'm also not looking to get short up here. Not at this stage. Uh, I think um, there's just too much political noise at the moment, and the political noise on both sides of the camps is chasing voters. So you've got to ask yourself what decisions can they make that are going to chase, um, bring in voters. So one of it is a stimulus package. Okay, so. You know, on both sides of the camp, and I think the the, the game that they're playing at the moment is uh, is it the Democrats or the Republicans that are going to claim victory for that. Okay, so yeah, so that's going to be pretty much the the story today. I think um, I'm a bit reluctant to jump in long here until we start breaking through some levels. Uh, I would be keen to be looking at the downside here. 34.35 or alternatively uh, 34.00, 34.05 area to get in long. So at this moment it's a uh, sit and wait. Uh, wait for the pullback, see what happens, or wait for the breakouts and the retest of those breakouts. The retest needs to happen on a 15 minute. You can see I'm on the 15 minute at the moment, just so we can get some uh, level of what we need to pay attention to. Okay. So that's kind of my view at the moment, guys. Um, a little bit mix of a mixed bag, but uh, the important things is the trend line, and then these micro levels here. And lastly, I just want to clean up the majority of the chart here. I'll come back to the eight hour, and I want to put in my next level here. Okay. So we have a flag. Okay, and if you look at the eight hour, the last one, two, three, another fourth eight hour candle, they've been all over the place, but they are green. Let's look at the buyers stepping in. Look at all these tails here. So that indicates that there are buyers in. Yes, there's also sellers off the top here, but um, you know, my opinion is that this is a flag, and what we're looking for here is a measured move. But patience is key right now. Patience is key. Measured move takes us to a new all-time high. Okay, um, and at the same time, validates this sort of head and shoulders here is also in play at the moment. So uh, something like that, and it pretty much takes us almost to the same area. Okay, so that is my overall bias at the moment. It is obviously to the upside, but uh, we're going to need to get through. This area that we are flirting with, 3470, has got to get through, come back and test it before we can start looking for new highs. Okay, anyway guys, that's it for me today. I hope it helps and we'll catch you later. Cheers for now.